New this morning, crime is a big problem across the country and it's no different here in the Mid-State. But just how bad is it? Are things getting worse? You asked, we answered. I took a deep dive into the numbers to find out. Police say it's an easy crime to commit. Police are asking us all to help solve a case of arson. That's from vehicles, a shooting, multiple armed robberies. Another homicide. You see it every day on the news. Police are investigating three shootings. Several arrests in Cumberland County involving human trafficking. Yeah. Three people were arrested following an attempted robbery in last night's triple homicide. Crime is just another fact of life, and it seems like it's only getting worse. But is that really the case? A big part of what we do is analyzing crime trends with the goal of preventing crime and lowering the crime rates here in Pennsylvania. So you have to be familiar with what's going to on. To find here. out, First I turned to the Pennsylvania that. State Police and its uniform really crime reporting system. Every law enforcement agency in Pennsylvania must submit crime data to the UCR database. The UCR goes back to 2004 and categorizes every type of crime reported, including murder, manslaughter, rape, robbery, assault, burglary, theft, arson, and human trafficking. In 2018, there were 313,000 crimes reported in PA. In 2022, that number was down to 309,000. And so far in 2023, it's over 222,000. Violent crime rate per capita in Pennsylvania has fluctuated. It's gone up, down, and then recently slightly up again to right around pre-pandemic levels. It's hard to put your finger on any given trends because they could fluctuate really for a variety of reasons. But what about in the mid-state? Using that same time period, I looked at data from the 10 counties in our viewing area. In Dolphin County, overall crime is actually down. In 2018, there were 8,239 crimes. In 2022, that dropped to 6,855. But murders climbed from 19 to 26. So far this year, that number is around 12. In fact, crime is down in Adams, Franklin, Lancaster, Lebanon, Mifflin, Perry, and York counties. In Cumberland County, crime slightly up from 3,326 in 2018 to 3,680 in 2022. And in our smallest county, Juniata, crime jumped from 380 to 620. In nearly every mid-state county, the most common crime is theft. So how is this information useful? If we notice there's an uptick in burglaries in a certain area, we're really going to take a look at ways to reduce those number of burglaries and really counteract that, whether it's through enforcement or just an increased presence via proactive patrol. One particular crime that is growing, car thefts. In cities like Harrisburg, when there is a spike in those types of numbers, state police are called in to help. We have what's called our IRT, our incident response team. And those troopers will go to the areas that we're seeing these higher crime rates in and, and they'll offer their assistance in working right alongside that municipal police department to, to fight crime in that area. And they've gotten results. I would say that it certainly does work. Our troopers will go in and make arrests alongside the local partners there. And certainly our numbers would back that up. Any crime is too much crime. Having the data to see what's actually happening is key to fighting it. It's important for police agencies to be transparent for the folks, for example, living in the communities they patrol to know what's going on around them. The UCR also keeps track of hate crimes, which has skyrocketed. In 2018, there were just four reported hate crimes in the entire mid-state. In 2022, there were 34. And so far in this year, there are already 27.